Hello friends and family. Today I'm sitting outside coming from you, amen, from um, my front porch. And today, uh, today's video is about um, doing those projects that you're supposed to have been done. You know how you know how we got things in our home that need to be done and we keep putting it off. So our first project I'm working on and have worked on is uh, my front door rug. It is a mess. Is um is already gone. It's faded out, and I'm, I want to restore it. The second thing is some pots, flower pots, old flower pots that I had, and both of these I'm I'm gonna paint it with paint that I already have, so that I don't have to go out and run and buy anything. And the only thing that I bought in this video was the uh, um, mums that you will see I got on sale at Full Lion for two for eight dollars. So that's the only thing you're gonna see. So I pray that this has inspired you, um, you know, to do those leftover projects. Um, on this week and maybe the rest of this month, I may be just working on projects um, that I haven't done. So continue to watch this video and continue, amen, to have a blessed day. Hello everyone, how you doing on this blessed day? Um, today I'm outside in the backyard. This is my um, welcome mat I bought probably about two or three years from Walmart um, and I was looking at it at the front door and I was thinking about it for quite some time to try to restore it so what I'm gonna do just get some regular paint that I have left over and some black paint and some other paint and just paint it and just see how it comes out so this is the before look so I'll be back with the next and the after look okay, this is the process and just you know just take a little drop and I don't put too much and just take a little brush, brush it through. If I had a little smaller one, it probably would have worked too, but but right now this will work. And that's all I'm doing. Getting them little corners. So it's best to paint the inside first before you do the outside. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, when I got to the letters, and being that the corners is hard to get through that with that look that brush, I got a Q-tip. Instead of me running to the store, I got a Q-tip, and the Q-tips gets in the corners. As you see. It gets better into these little corners. And just use the brush. Okay, it just took a take a little time to play with it, but use a Q tip and just keep working it and I'll show you the next part when I get to the black paint. Okay. Okay guys, this is the finished process of it. I still have it outside. It has to dry, but it looked real good compared to from the before. I'll still show you some pictures of the before and the after. Um, this is just my old outside rug that I had for over two or three years. And instead of throwing it away, I thought about restoring it. Um, so I pray that you have got an idea from this. And I hope that this has um, encouraged you or inspired you um, to, um, instead of throwing things away, see how you can restore it. So this is the finished process. So y'all have a blessed and prosperous evening. Good night. Hello everyone. Um, this is a, another project I have. I'm about to work on my pots outside. This is something that my mom gave me. She gave me two of these. One is big. This is the bigger one. And the other one is a little smaller. Uh, but I wanted to keep them and restore them. So I'm about to repaint them black. Uh, so I'm just showing you the four. I'm using some black leftover paint. I just want to repaint it and, you know, upgrade it so it can fit on my front porch. Okay, here's the before. Okay guys, so you already painted one part and I'm about to paint the other part. And all I did, I had them just sitting outside and I'm using some leftover paint and brush. But it would have been so much easier if I had spray paint. But I'm going to go ahead and paint them and restore them. And sit them on the front porch, find some flowers to put in. So they're looking a whole lot better. Uh, I have to contain the paint and I'll show you the results when I finish. <laughs> 